I was a duck run cowboy, you might say, because I had a, a little horse from the time I was, well, at first, my first horse was a mule. <laughs> and then uh, my dad bought me a little ex sulky racer, and she was a terrific uh, horse. Her name was Babe, and I rode her to school and church and different places. and. So that's where I learned to ride. I learned to ride bareback. I never had a saddle, but I think that's probably the best way to learn because you, you get the rhythm of the horse a lot quicker. Is that tough? I mean, I'd be afraid that the horse would be falling on top of me. Is that oh, I mean the rearing pictures? Yeah, the rearing pictures. Well, not when you have a horse like Trigger. He was one of the greatest horses that ever walked, and I, I uh, really appreciate him. He did all of my TV series and all of the uh, pictures I made for uh, the theater. And uh, he was just uh, uh, flawless. And uh, I, I just, uh, I couldn't when I, when I lost him in 1965. He was uh, 33 years old. Oh. And uh, we made our pick. He was four when I made my first picture, and I was 26. So we kind of grew up together yeah. and uh, spent all those years. And he was, he was just, I can't say enough for him. He was just, if there's a heaven for horses, that's where Trigger is. Yeah. But I couldn't, I just couldn't bury him when, I, when this happened to him, when he died. And I, had him beautifully mounted, rearing on his hind legs, and he's downstairs here in the museum. So I can go down and and uh, relive some of my moments. I, that's fantastic. I can't wait to get down there and see him. <laughs> was he trained when you got him, or did you train Trigger yourself? He was uh, a good cow pony when I got him. He's already broken, so he could spin on a dime and give you nine cents change, you know, one of those things. He handled himself very good, and he was fast. He was half thoroughbred, and he was just... Uh, well, there wasn't anything wrong with him. He never did anything wrong. He loved kids. He didn't, uh, like most stallions, a lot of them will nibble at you or bite at you, you know. But not him. He was something. Roy was telling me the story about the, who was it that he sold the horse to? Oh, to Randy Travers. And the one that the trainer called you up and asked whether or not you ought to cut him. And yeah. you said, well, it's, you know, it's Randy's decision now. And, the, yeah. and Randy called you back up and said he was, <laughs> I thought that was kind of. Uh, I still, still don't think he's going to do it, but he, um. He uh, he'd get a little mean, you know. The stallions, some some stallions do get uh, mean when you're, you know, as they grow into manhood. And uh, <clears throat> so I, it's his horse now. That's up to him if he wants to breed him to some mares and things like that. He's a great grandson of Trigger Jr.